let's talk about resistance for a second. Kind of resistance is a part of the game. That's something you have to understand. Don't make it personally, like, you know, girl says, oh, no, kind of leave me alone, I don't want to talk with you. Or in a bedroom, like, no, I don't take my brow off, you know, I don't want to, you know, kind of, it's... It's a their way how to play the game. So, the worst thing that you can do is to eject, to take it personally, oh, she doesn't like me, and bam, you know, kind of. No, you stay there, you try again. You try it from different angles. You try again. You, basically, on her, re, on, her resistance, on her resistance, you are being persistent. Not aggressive, you don't rape her, there is no force. You just try again and again. And then after, like, I don't know, let's say like five, six, seven times, you know, it's no, 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 and it's really no, then you can eject. But on those ones, like, you know, hey, leave me alone, I don't want to talk with you, and these are all tests to see, you know, are you the man, are you strong? And those tests you have to pass. A girls, they feel, if a girl feels she give herself too easily, she feels like a slut. Like if she wasn't, you know, if you didn't chase, you know, she didn't resist, you know, if you just kind of, yeah, I like him, spread my, spread my legs and he fucks me. She will feel cheap. So, and that's funny thing, the more girl likes you, the more she will resist. One more time, the more she likes you, the more resistance you're going to get. Why? Because she's fighting with her emotions. No, no, I, you know, I, I, no, no, don't be so easy, don't stop it, like, you know, stop, like, don't touch me, like, you know, she will, see, they cannot, they cannot just go with the flow. Very few girls can do that. Most of girls, they are always in collision, in a fight with their emotions. So, you have to be above that, you have to be smart to understand that and help her. Help her in a way to stay there, to give her opportunity. She's fighting with her emotions, with her horniness, with this, she's testing you. She doesn't know why she's testing you, but you know, she just feels she has to say it and... Lots of her game is autopilot. Big percentage of her game is autopilot, where she is just saying things because it feels. Our game is logical, you are learning it here with me, going out to the clubs, reading books, doing things, doing missions, you are learning, it's learned, it's a logical knowledge. Their game is unconscious, they are reactive on a game. It doesn't feel right, uh, I don't want it. So, don't eject on a first, second, third resistance. Sometimes, and you have seen some clips, you're gonna see some clips where basically I go for a kiss, close the girl turns, turns around. I stay, I'm okay, let me go for next one. I have like a 5, 10, 15 kiss closes in my, in my toolbox. One of them is gonna work. I don't immediately run away, I stay there, I persist. And it's the oldest saying that persistent guys are getting laid, not the beautiful ones. You stay there, you keep pushing. Of course, you don't become needy, you don't become crazy, like, you know, following her and everything. Like, you know, at one point, if you see it really goes nowhere, you tried everything, then you're like, you see, have an amazing life. But, but only then. So, please, be confident enough, be smart enough to stay there to fight with her resistance. I had a girl, it was fine, like one of my ex-girlfriends that I spent like a three years with. She was, don't touch me, leave me alone, I don't want to talk with you. For, in, in the club, initial meeting was like that. I don't want to talk with you, leave me alone. Uh, no, don't touch me. Why are you talking to me? I talk with my friends. You know, I want to dance. 
we had sex. I think I got her phone number, date, sex, doesn't matter. I asked her maybe a week later. When you saw me in a club, what was your first? Oh, I really, I immediately liked you. I, you know, you're exactly my type of a guy. I wanted to be with you. I'm like, okay, what about resistance? You know, why you like, you know, fucking leave me alone. Don't touch me. Don't this. I don't want to talk with you. She's like, ah, oh, but if I was easy, you wouldn't like me. Guys like you, they don't like easy girls. I'm like, really? Who told you that? Oh, well, but that's, you know, that's the truth. You know, guys, you know, guys, they don't like easy girls. So she felt she has to do that to seduce me, which fucking, it's retarded. It is retarded, it's stupid, but guys, that's what's happening out there. And you simply have to fight with it. Her game is, no, I don't want you, no, no, I don't want you. Your game is, baby, I want you, you're so sexy, you're exactly my type of a girl. Shh, shut up, you know, come here, like, you know. So that's collision between these two things. Oh, yeah, shh, mentioning, sure. On any good, basically, on any stupid shit test that she tells, like, you know, ah, I, shh, is the best. It's one of ways, it's not the best, it's one of ways you can respond to. Ah, uh, I don't want to talk with you. Shh. It's okay. And then continue. This works because this is old anchor, if you know NLP. If you know this is old anchor from a childhood, from teachers in elementary school, in kindergarten. They, they used to do this shh to us all the time when we were small kids. And it still implements somewhere there, like, you know, in unconscious. And basically, when you do this, the old, basically, all thought process just, just stops. So it's really useful to use on some retarded, stupid shit tests. Ah, uh, I have a boyfriend. Shh, it's okay. I know just that. And then move on. So, thought of a day. Be persistent. Don't give up. Don't give up immediately. You will encounter, that's, this is this type of a game. You're going to encounter lots of resistance, lots of bullshit from them. 98% of that is bullshit, created from a thin air. So, please, be persistent. See you soon.